in an easy seated. And when you're here, really start to ground those sits bones down. And just be aware of everything that's touching your mat. Put your hands on your knees just so you can grip them slightly. And then just allow your shoulders to relax down away from your ears. You don't want to rock back and forth a little bit. Whatever feels good. We're going to move around a little bit before we become still in our practice. We'll do some circles just to kind of relax everything and still be able to move around. We're going to start just bringing our chest forward, our shoulder on the right side back, really, really sinking into the sits bones on the floor. Find that space where you're at just a couple of times and then do counterclockwise the other way. Really try and pull your shoulders back. When you come back to center, draw them away from your ears. You can try and engage those shoulder blades just a little bit. Close your eyes. Relax your jaw. Relax your eyes. So in our practice tonight, this is yin, remind ourselves to slow down, pause, take that extra breath, and in that stillness, create a sense of calm and ease for your body to relax. And allow your body to take whatever shape that it does, whatever feels good to you. We're going to raise our hands to our sides, above our head, to heart center. I'm going to have to go get my dog in touch. Yeah. Just remain still here. Begin to focus on your breathing. Try with your eyes closed. Press your palms and each finger together. Gently, just creating that little bit of force. Relax your shoulders. Focus on your breath. Try and breathe in for four counts. Hold and then exhale for eight counts. For just twice as long as you inhale. Try and come back to this breath as we go through our sequence. If you have any scattered thoughts that might be running around in your mind, allow yourself to let those go. They're not serving you here. Allow yourself to breathe. Slowly on your exhale, we're gonna release our hands. Bring the soles of our feet together. And if you can, kind of wiggle up your sits bones towards your heels as close as you can get. 
instead of pulling your heels towards you, try and move your torso up to your heels. And wherever you're at, if you have a block, you can put it in front of you. We're gonna lean our bodies over our feet. So once we're here, release your hands from your feet, bring them up above your head, straight up, close your eyes and inhale. And on your exhale, that's when we're gonna reach forward. So exhale. And just allow your head to fall wherever feels okay. Stay here for one minute. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get my dog. Sorry about that. And with every exhale, just like you took to come down into this pose, Allow your torso and your body to sink ever so slightly down just a little bit more. You know your limit and you know your edge. And if you get to it and it's too much, give yourself some grace. Wherever your body is, is where you need to practice and be present. Don't try and force anything in this. While we're here, relax your hips if you can. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Again, if you have any thoughts or anything that's going through your mind that does not involve you being here and present right now, let it go. Focus on your intent and your breath. Stay here for two more deep breaths. And that second exhale, slowly lift your head, slowly bring your hands back towards your feet. Come up. We are going to go into tadpole, child's pose. Go ahead and put your knees hip width distance apart, and it's two fists. Make sure those big toes are together, sink your hips down, and then allow your forehead to come to the mat. And whatever feels good with your arms, if you wanna have them snug by your knees, your elbows, if you wanna have them in front of you, beside you, behind you, whatever feels good. We're gonna stay here for a little while, so do what feels good. With every exhale here, remember that stillness, focus on your breath, 
and try and breathe out to bring those hips a little bit closer to your heels. Be mindful of your shoulders, draw them away from your ears. Remember to breathe. Allow your hips to relax. Allow your spine to relax. Allow your ankles Shoulders. Remember to breathe. On your next exhale, if you don't already, have your hands in front of you. Go ahead and bring them there. And on the next exhale, lift your wrists so that the weight of your arms and shoulders are resting on the palm, like the tips of your fingers. The wrists are being drawn up by strings almost. And once you have your wrists lifted, relax your shoulders. And on your inhale, breathe deep and allow that breath to fill up your lungs. Allow your wrist to come back down. Bring your hands beside your feet, palms up. And we're gonna come into rabbit pose. So from here, we're gonna lift our hips and allow your head, when your hips lift up. You're gonna go from your forehead and just roll gently up to the crown of your head. These big toes are still kissing. Check in with your hips. In the crown of your head, you should not feel any pressure from your neck. Relax your shoulders. Be very mindful if anything hurts here, come back down to tap pole or child's pose. Put on your crown. It's not the back of your head, but almost a little, right halfway, a little past halfway. It's, I guess if there was a line that went from ear to ear, it would be right behind that is where we're trying to sit almost. We're only going to be here for a minute. Check in with your hips. Push down. With the tops of your feet in your mat. Push down with your hands. Two. 
Two more deep breaths. And on that second exhale, slowly roll your head back down to the mat so that your forehead's touching the mat and you're back in a child's pose. When you're here, make sure that your arms aren't holding onto your legs. Allow your arms to fall close to the mat. Allow your shoulders to relax. Remember on your exhales to try and draw those hips a little bit further down to your heels. Keep those big toes together and breathe. Take two more deep breaths here. Slowly bring your hands beside or under your shoulders. Lift yourself up ever so slightly in the tabletop. And once you're here in the tabletop, Bring your left hand so that it's center between your shoulders. Raise your right hand in the air and thread it through under this left shoulder and allow your cheek and ear to lay on the mat and thread the needle. Check in with your hips. Make sure that one's not higher up or lower, I guess more to the left or to the right. Check in and make sure that they're level, but try if you can to really allow your neck, shoulder, you can come down to your ear first. Extend that left arm out long, Breathe. If you can, on your next exhale, gently roll your head ever so slightly so that your chin comes up a little bit further so that you can gaze at your hand and allow your body to relax a little bit more. You might feel a deeper stretch in that left arm, over your arm, and in your shoulders. You know your limit and you know your edge. So if anything becomes painful, stop. Give yourself some grace. Try and be still. And focus on your breath. Slowly, if you have your arm already extended, Walk your hand back so it's at a 90 degree angle. Lift yourself up gently 
Bring yourself back into tabletop. Check in with everything. You want your, your knees to be under your hips. And find your pose pose slowly. Really come into it. Move around first before we become still. You can do some circles with your hips. Allow your gaze to stay down at your mat. And find that neutral spine. Want your knees under your hips, wrists, elbows, shoulders stacked. Relax those shoulders away from your ears. Find that balance between your hands and your knees to distribute your weight. Remember to breathe. Check in with your spine. So you really want this neutral spine. You don't want to have a hunch like through your chest. Sometimes if we're still hanging on to a lot of stuff throughout the day, you just can't relax enough. Try and drop those shoulder blades down. And then ensure that your belly's not dropped too far. Engage those abs ever so slightly. Relax your neck. Breathe. On your next exhale, we are going to drop our bellies, raise our hips, look forward in the cow, your gaze in front of you. Relax those shoulders away from your ears. We're just going to do a couple cat cows with our breath at your own pace. So on your inhale, we're going to come back into cat. Arch your back. Feel that stretch. Your rib cage and your spine, your thoracic spine. And exhale back to cow. Be mindful of all your joints. Do two more of these very gently and slowly. And then what we do on one side, we have to do on the other. So bring your left hand, no, sorry, right hand center. Shift your weight in your knees. And make sure in your knees, you're here that they're not too far out. You still want them to leave that hips width distance apart. Check in there and Center yourself with that right hand. Raise up your left hand. Gaze up at your fingertips. Check in with those hips before you start threading your needle. And then go through. Allow your cheek and ear on the mat. Check in with your hips. Make sure that they're level. Allow that shoulder to relax under you. Allow that weight. Just to sink down into the mat. If you're having trouble finding that positioning with your cheek and your ear. Whatever you can find to begin with is where you should be. Whatever feels good. I'm going to lay here. Close your eyes. 
relax both shoulders. So your next exhale, try and find a place with your feet here. Check in with your hips if you need to. Make sure that left hip isn't dipping down too far. You want them to be level. But if you can, gaze gently up at your fingertips in the right hand. Your chin's going to come up ever so slightly. Give a little bit more stretch to that shoulder and throughout your neck. Relax your jaw. Remember to breathe in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Focus on your breathing. Stay here for two more deep breaths. And on that second exhale, slowly bring that right hand up the 90 degree angle to your elbow and lift gently. Place your hands under your shoulders. You can move around if you need to. We're going to find that neutral spine again. And once you or in tabletop, you find the neutral spine, really try and press down with the tops of your feet and through your ankles here into the mat and press down hard if you can through the palms of your hands and your fingertips in the mat. So it's not so much weight in your hips and your shoulders that's holding you up. From here, we're going to walk our hands up, maybe about two hand widths up, not all the way to where your hands are in front of you so that your shoulders are all the way out yet. We're going to gently come down in a melting heart or puppy pose. But to do this, we still need, it's like child's pose, but we're going to have our hips up. So. We're going to put our hips up in the air and want our chest to come to the ground, if you can. Whatever feels good. And if you need a block or bolster, you can place that underneath your chest and chin here. So you want your chest to come to the ground. Gently allow your head to rest. You can gently rest on your chin and look forward. If that's too much for your neck, try and bring your forehead down. You really want to try and get your chest to match. Check in with your hips. And then on your next breath, 
put the weight that you have in your arms. We're going to lift those wrists like we did earlier in child's pose. Put your weight in your fingertips. Draw your shoulders back from your ears. And your chest down. Close as you can to the mat. Feel that stretch under your arms. Drop your wrists on your next exhale. On your next inhale, really try and breathe so deep that you can feel it in your underarms all the way down to your waist, your ribs, the entire expanse of your rib cage. Fill up your lungs. And again, when you exhale, try and make it twice as long as your inhale. Slowly, when you exhale, drop your hips down, walk your fingers back towards your torso, bring your forehead to the mat, and then come back into tadpole, the child's pose. And this time, try and observe how much more relaxed you can be than we were just a few moments ago in this very same pose. And even here, relax your jaw. Close your eyes and allow your body and your mind to be still here. And take two more deep breaths. Slowly on your exhale, bring your hands right above your shoulders. Lift your head. And gently bring your hands in front of you and gently lift your hips, lift those toes, and we're going to come into down dog. When you're in down dog, look at your hands. Really try to put your weight into your index finger and your thumb. If you can, even lift your middle ring and pinky fingers and try and push down with your arms into the palms of your hands and into those first two, into that first finger and your thumb. And then push back through your shoulders. 
push back into your hips, cuddle out your dog. Relax your shoulders, but you still want the space between your shoulders to be puffed up. You don't want to really sink down into this. In doing so, it's like you find this happy medium there and everything just kind of clicks. Find where it feels good. That's where you need to be. Breathe. Even here, try and relax your jaw, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Focus that weight of your arms away from your shoulders into your hands. Really push with your hands. Slowly, on your exhale, you're going to walk, heel toes, feet out ever so slightly. So your toes are pointed out. Walk your hands gently, if you can, under you, and then going to come into the Malasana squat. So just Find your balance with your feet first. And then once you have that, use your hands for that balance. And once you have that balance, if you need a block, you can place it under your sits bones here. You really want to be able to allow your hips to relax here. We're engaging outer part of our hips up here and we're engaging through our legs we're trying to relax the back of those hips so that our spine can be straight if you can you're not going to use your elbows you're going to use this fleshy part on your arm here and you're going to push against this fleshy part on your leg it's here so, sorry, not, not your forearm, your tricep. So you're pushing gently, just with the force that your hands create. And whether you're using a block or a blanket, bolster, whatever you need to do, try and bring your hands so that they are right below your gaze. Raise your chin, close your eyes. Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders, breathe. And stay here for two more deep breaths. And after that second exhale, slowly drop your hands down. Bring your hips up. We're just going to come into Ragdoll. Before, if you'd like to start in Ragdoll, you can, if you want, just to 
give your spine a little bit more of a stretch and place peace fingers around your big toes so that they're pointing inward. Your fingers will be pointing inward. Grab on. Just relax. Shoulders. Rock back and forth. Don't lose your balance. And also come into gorilla pose and place your feet over your hands so that your toes are touching your wrists. And then gently, almost like cat, but we're not extending our spine near as high as that. Just allow your head to drop. Shoulders to come away from your ears. Whatever feels good, if you wanna. And then from here, fine if you hold your elbows after that, you could, you're still a little bit further down in the stretch. Have a slight bend in your knees. Make sure you're grounding down with your feet, and with your toes. You need to find that balance between the ball of your foot and your heel. Allow gravity to pull you down. You will feel this stretch in your hamstrings, but this is this stretch is really intended for your spine. Stay here for two more breaths. On your second exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. We're going to drop this left knee to the ground. And then bring your right foot back level beside your hands. Check in with your shoulders. I should have told you this first, sorry. Um, check in with your shoulders at your wrists, elbows, and shoulders are all in a straight line. And then if you can place the ball of your foot, this part right here, lift your toes in line with both of your hands it should be under your shoulders and a dragon if you can lift your toes under lift that knee up really breathe into that so that you can feel that stretch Try to make sure in Dragon that you are keeping your leg as close as possible right now to your shoulder, even hugging into your shoulder, not so that it's pushing you over, but just so that you can feel that little tug. Breathe. Relax your shoulders. Push down again with your thumb and your index finger into the mat with the palms of your hands. With that right foot into the ground. Check in with your hips and breathe. Your next exhale, drop down on that left knee if you're up. 
bring that right foot back. And we're gonna come back into tabletop, that neutral spine. So again, once you find it, whatever it takes you to get there, that was an intense pose. So give yourself some grace, move around a little bit if you need to. Once you're here, try and push down the tops of your feet again into the mat. Check in with your knees, that they're under your hips. And then that your shoulders, elbows, and wrists are all stacked. Once you're here, On your inhale, slowly raise your spine so that we're in cat. And on your exhale, slowly drop your belly, raise your hips, relax your shoulders away from your ears, gaze should be forward. Inhale back into cat. Inhale once and exhale, and on that exhale, that's when you're going to drop back down into cow. So let's do those a couple more times. And after two or three of those, spine neutral spine again. Place those hands so that you can put the weight from your shoulders into that first finger in your thumb, the palms of your hands. Straight line from the mat. Walk your knees forward gently, just a few inches. We're going to bring our left foot beside our left hand so that it's lined up ball of our foot in front a ball of our hand right here both hands check in with everything wrists elbows shoulders all in a straight line and lift if you can flip those toes and lift up, and we're going to come to a dragon on the left side. Your gaze can be anywhere really if it if you have to check in with your body. Do what feels good for you. So if this is too much to look forward or to look at the map, you can definitely drop your head down and allow for that stretch. You're really, really putting, trying to use a lot of this flexed muscle in your glutes and in your right hip to really help you balance and keep that weight so that you can push down with your palms and your fingers in the mat in this left foot. Remember to breathe. Whether you're on your knee or you have your foot flip, really try on your exhales to allow your body, even flexing these glutes, like clenching this muscle, allow your hip to sink down closer to the mat. Give yourself that stretch. Two more deep breaths. And 
And on that second exhale, if you have your knee raised, drop it to the mat. Bring your left foot back. We're going to sink our hips down. Find child's pose just for a few minutes, for a few seconds. Allow your forehead to come to the mat. Be mindful with your breathing. Your exhales are twice as long as your inhale. Once you find your breath, we're going to gently lift with our hands up and flip our feet under slowly. However you need to come here, we're going to come back into ragdoll. Here, try and notice on your exhales if you can just pull your elbows a little bit further down, closer to the mat, giving your spine that release. Your knees are bent ever so slightly. Remember, you want to be able to use your hamstrings and your quadriceps to really try and allow to hold the weight of your upper body that's leaned over right now. Remember to breathe. Slowly on your exhale, place your hands down on the mat, open your eyes, bring your hands to your shins. We're slowly going to raise up one vertebrae at a time. Keep that slight bend in your knees. Come down back on our mats on our bottoms. If you need a pillow, we're going to come into recline bound angle so you can put a block or a pillow behind your head. You don't want it necessarily under your neck, but just for some support if you'd like. Otherwise, go ahead and come down to your mat and bring your legs up in the air actually, and then if you can. Find the soles of your feet, push them together, bring them down to the mat. Try and gently push the soles of your feet together to help you find your center. Take your time in finding this. Check in with your hips. And once Check in with your hips. Tilt your pelvis guess, up and back so that your weight is on your sacrum. And engage your core and then extend your hands out beside you. Relax your shoulders and then relax your hips down. Relax your jaw. Try and find stillness. 
remember if you have any thoughts that are not serving you right now in this pose, anything that's happened today or last year, whenever, it's not helping you right now. So just don't worry about that. Bring your mind back to your breath. Notice when you're here in your shoulders, if one is holding you up more, if it doesn't feel level, adjust what you need to, to really try and settle into this pose. Try and keep everything still. The only thing that should move is your belly, the rise and fall of your breath. We'll take two more breaths here. On your second exhale, bring your knees together, and hug them into your chest, give your back a little massage. And whenever you're ready, set your heels, the bottom of your mat, Go ahead and point your big toes together so that they're touching and then let them fall to either side of the mat. Allow your hands to fall to your sides. You're going to come into Shavasana. You have your right hand on your belly, your left hand on your heart. Whatever feels good to you. Close your eyes. Relax your jaw. Allow your eyes to sink back. Focus on your breath. Remember in our practice, the yin reminds us to slow down, to pause, to take that extra breath, and then in that stillness to create the sense of calm and ease. Honor stillness in your mind, allowing an empty nature so that there is no longer a root for the disturbing emotions to be attached to. We let go of the chaos that we're choosing to occupy our minds. We can let go and those disturbing emotions lose their power to distract us. Be still. Relax. Close your eyes. Think of the night sky. The moon, full and bright the stars in the sky. Allow your mind and your body to relax. Let go of any thoughts. Keep your mind awake throughout the day and at night. Relax and allow yourself to shift into an easier state. Be present there.
in the stillness, try to create a space so that you can listen to yourself, your intuition, your inner wisdom, listen to your body, listen to your mind, for you, and allow yourself to relax, to be still tonight, allow your mind to relax, still those chaotic thoughts that aren't serving you. On your exhale, breathe in. Just think to yourself, I'm aware. On your exhales, breathe out. Think to yourself, all those things that are stirring around in your mind of what is not serving you. All those chaotic thoughts, any tension in your body or muscles, if you can, on your exhale, it's not serving you here, so breathe it out. Relax your body. Know you're strong. And to remain strong in your body and your mind, you must rest. Rest your bones, rest your muscles, allow your organs to rest. We worked so hard just now and all day long for you. Relax and allow the stillness to calm your mind and your body. And know and the stillness, it's not empty, but it can be full of answers. And focus on your breath. And gently begin to wiggle your toes and fingers wrists and ankles, knees and elbows. And when you're ready, slowly roll to your favorite side. And slowly Take your time and we can meet in easy seated. Once you find this, we're going to bring our hands to our sides and if you'd like over your head down to heart center the light in me honors the light in you namaste, namaste.